love from love, hope from hope, peace from our Prince of Peace. Now, came to pass right after the Lord cast out uh, the demon from the man in uh, Capernaum, his new uh, home, the people on the uh, scene were just, they were, they were like <sighs> mouths wide open. They were in utter shock because many of those had knew this demoniac person for some time and they could not ever see the guy being normal again and all of a sudden these uh when these uh, uh demons left the man he was like normalized he was at, he actually looked sane if if that could be described uh and they knew him for years and he he was uh, hanging on the edge of uh, the city with a cup in his hand every uh sabbath for uh people to uh, donate to God through him. He wasn't the dummy, he might have been possessed, but he knew the people would feel sorry for him. And he had, uh, but he threw away his cup after, um, after the Lord overflowed his spirit and cast out the demon. The man came to his senses, threw away his cup, and he started walking rightly, and he looked rightly. So after the darkness comes the light and vice versa. Because of his recent fasting, it should be understood that the Lord did look a bit uh, gaunt and rugged, uh, as though he was burning up by the restless fires of his own unbounded passions. And as, uh, and as that shocked uh, crowd looked upon Christ and heard Emmanuel speak, there wasn't any question about him appearing self-confident and fierce when it came to casting out uh, the foul spirits from that poor possessed soul. And it came to pass immediately after that the intense spiritual show of strength that the crowd was a bit noisy at first because, uh, because those standing at the back couldn't hear Christ uh, when he resumed his message. Uh, thusly, it was Sabbath day and all was at peace and a healing paved the way for teaching. And uh, thusly, there were some interruptions um, for, um, but Christ put that away very, very quickly with but a few words. For he was like a, a general among the legions and everyone there obeyed him really fast like they were but common soldiers. Uh, and when peace was again, uh, once again, finally st still, our author of life then commented that sweet is the attainment of the evil inclination at the start for people who do not fear God, but such end up uh, being extremely bitter in the end. So he gave wise teachings unto those in front of him. And he also asserted uh, and stressed that the wretched inclinations behaves like a guest at first, no matter how evil uh, those might be. But it eventually such inclinations become master over the people. If uh, we get back what we put out, if we put out evil, we walk in evil. For the wicked rarely make any resistance uh, to it, but quickly abandon themselves over to their evil ways. And that's why uh, uh, people suffering from demons, they become settled in with it and they accept it and don't fight against it. And they have it what they uh, don't desire to get rid of. And as the seas, as the seas throw up its refuse upon the shores, so too have the wicked, uh, 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 so too have the wicked let their filthiness uh, come forth out of their mouths. So the Lord then went on to warn that all believers must be cautious, even adding that countless uh, evils and dangers and innumerable uh, always awaits patiently for foolish peoples. And that is a shame, but it is true. For it is always has been true up until the time of his uh, kingdom age removal that Beelzebub, while he was in there doing his dirty deeds, 
that prince of all devils, the source of every evil. He was constantly laying in wait for all the sons of Adam ever since man's fall of grace. And moreover, he taught that the son of evil is death. And as uh, the dark lord of every blackest plague, uh, the devil, Jesus knew, the devil loved taking on a, a pleasant appearance by masquerading himself. Uh, then, then he goes, and he always did. He tried to tempt and seduce wherever he could. So Jesus was then speaking like a, a seasoned uh, orator. Now, as that apostle of our profession talked, he always spoke as though no one would ever contradict him. Uh, he also began quietly, uh, but as he talked about evil, gradually. I, suddenly he started raising up his voice higher until it became loud. And uh, as Jesus continued talking about that devil, um, Lucifer, um, Lucifer uh, what is what he became after his fall from grace. Christ said that uh, the devil, he promises great riches, power, splendid mansions, silken garments, piles of gold, and all of those things. Uh, if he can uh, get someone off the path of love. Christ also said that that spineless snake was, was uh, excellent at offering fame and glory, fornication and lustfulness, gluttony and, and uh, vine bibbing, uh, riotous living, slothfulness and idle days was the message of Satan, Beelzebub, Mephistopheles. And that father of lies, said Christ, entices everyone by things that their very own hearts lean towards. For if an obedient person becomes a slave unto Diablo and to the sin that he represents, uh, then they become used to their pride-filled vanity and their other unspeakable abominations as their hearts quickly wax colder than ice. Thereby, the Lord let all people realize that thereby hard, hardened, hard hearts, they loose the good things that were once given unto them by our Father of lights. Poor substitution, but substitute do they. And our chief shepherd noted as well that this old snake of Eden, who was all washed up, no place to go, would eventually take uh, from every fool, their breath, their blood, their flesh, their bowels, their eyes, and their ears. He would take it from everyone foolish and everyone wise. Uh, but uh, we all die. But um, the essence of evil would go on even after Satan's removal. And then the Lord went on to say that there isn't any doubt uh, that the breath of reprobate shall become short and stifled due to their overflowing inward uh, pollution. And without a doubt, the spiritual blood of lovers of unrighteousness will then become thick and evil smelling while becoming like the water of some eerie swamps which clots up and blackens like the darkest night of death. But above all else that uh, the Lord was preaching that day in Capernaum, the people really hung on to his word when Emmanuel was then teaching that the spiritual bones of, uh, of unrighteous people shall become very hard and knotted until they melt away within the, the um, uh, till they melt away and break asunder like a stone falling upon a rock. So uh, the people were grossed out by um, the message of evil, and they had seen the demonic uh, leave the, the man that they knew. And all of those people felt shattered when Christ said that the spiritual flesh of all lovers of wickedness would only wax uh, uh, cold and fall and be watery as they rot and putrefy under scabs and boils of utter wretchfulness if they look to the ways of evil. And they would always bring forth unto themselves terrible abomination unto everything that's holy. 
for the law of um, sowing and reaping was what he was teaching. You put good things out, you get good things back. You put bad things out, you get bad things back. And um, lastly, our most regal king of kings talked about how the rabbi Eli, a hundred years earlier from Capernaum, wasn't too far off when he described the kind of emotional horrors that uh, the doomed of hell would feel all those committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting their love life go out, that all of them would feel uh, while feeling trapped evermore. What a what an ending to a story. But uh, the story was just getting going again. And uh, so praise God for that. Join me next time as I can conclude this.